sorry I had to pause that, that was my grandpa. But I think the object is to time it so you get the seesaws to be moving upwards like this, and then have them fall when you get close to the edge. Yeah. Okay, second try. And, okay. Time it, time it, time it. Then I'll go off to the edge, right there. Flopping the goal. Yeah, go monkey, go. Oops, I, I, I have plenty of time on the camera. What am I worried about the uh, uh, camera time for the next cutscene for? I don't know. I'm just panicking all over the place. Look at the monkeys go. Again, they are flying. Why don't they just fly to the goal? Why don't they fly? Ah! Well, anyway, it appears that the monkey robots have destroyed all... I mean, the monkeys have destroyed all the monkey robots. It may be a shame, but they definitely had to go. The world cannot be taken over by monkey robot eye eyes. Oh no, not the escape rockets! Not that! Go after him! Oh my god! Space Age! We're getting all technical! See, he's a brilliant scientist that can create all this stuff, but he's panicking when the monkeys are coming after him. Doesn't he have any guns? Well, he evidently had that shrink gun. <laughs> but you'd think he'd be able to make some sort of gun. I mean, come on! Oh yeah, we'll find you, no matter what! Oh, of course, this is going to be like the, sh the shortest um, um, cutscene ever, just because I have some camera time for once. Of course, that's just good how it's going to be. <laughs> so obviously the next part is a space station. It's going to be awesome. The stages are going to be extremely difficult. Even more difficult than World 8, and you've seen I had some great trouble with some of the World 8 stages. But let's just start right on it. This one is called Serial Jump. And I love the music to the stage. It's the best music in the entire Monkey Ball game, at least in my opinion. Listen to it. Techno goodness. Okay. What you want to do with these is jump out when you get near an arrow like that. So zoom in with the camera so you can uh, see where the arrows are and just go for it. Go around, jump out, go into this one. Oh no, fail! 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 Well, at least they're not moving or anything. It's just all uh, control-wise problems. It takes a little bit of practice, but you'll get it. Just take its time, and we're in the second ring. Second ring, second ring, and go! Monkey dance! That was the worst off-key tone singing in the history of singing. And this one is extremely dangerous, known as Cross Floors. Doesn't look that hard, because it's just like the other one, but it's the crossovers that you have to worry about. Because you see, I just slowed down there, and now I'm pretty much screwed. Uh, can I get up? Can I get up? Can I get up? I think I can get up. No, whoa, whoa, I have no rhythm. I mean, I have no momentum. Oh, wait, I got some momentum back. Maybe you aren't screwed if you screw up. <laughs> Uh, come on, monkey, 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 you can do it! Oh, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> I actually recovered. Usually when you slow down, you fall off, but I guess you have some control over uh, how much uh, you fall off the slope. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I guess, I guess the slope isn't steep enough to push you off. Okay, spinning saw. Just go for it. Just jump for it. Right for it. Don't go towards the edges, just pull yourself towards the center and get to the goal. This is actually one of the easiest ones in there. It only looks hard because it's spinning with the goal on it, but you just pull towards the center and you're, you're, you just pop right into it. This one is called Chip Pipes. Um, it's like half pipes, only there's holes to your death. Yay! For some reason, I don't know why, I find it easier to do the uh, secondary harder exit, believe it or not. I don't know why, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Second exit, perfect! One try! The, the other one, I don't know why, I think it's because the angles are steeper, but this one has more of a sway to it, like it has you go back and forth instead of uh, at such steep angles, as I said. 
Oh, okay, flat maze. This one's a pretty tricky one to figure out because without, if you just follow the path that you're given, you're not gonna make it to the goal in time. So what you gotta do is jump uh, corners. Not here. I'll show you which corner to jump in just a sec. Let's go around. Okay, now on this on the stretch here. Get ready. Get ready. Yeah. Oh, I failed. That's the one you wanna jump right there. It's easy to do, and uh, uh, that's and it saves you the most time. At least at least I think it does. Oh no no no. Why did I do that? Why did I slow down? Do not hesitate, PK Gam. Do not hesitate at all. Okay, here we go. Gotta hit off the... Why did I do that? Why did I take the corner like I'm race car driving? Slow down, PK Gam. Alright, we're back with the second half of Flat Maze. Let's see if I can do this jump. Hop. Yay! That's the jump. And that is the stage. See what I mean about that being the easiest jump to do? I just failed to do it well. <laughs> because you, all you have to do is aim for that straightaway and you'll have plenty of room to stop yourself from flying off the edge. Unless you kind of do it wrong like I did. Arg. Oh, and this one is called Guillotine. See that thing flying across like big, that big fan blade? That is the Guillotine. Some people uh, call it Guillotine. But I think it's, it's um, pronounced Guillotine. I mean, just, it's spelled G-U-I, and that spells G to me. <laughs> but uh, obviously, the problem with this stage is these slopes. And you gotta time your forward momentum so that you move under that as it's going over you. So, you know, to give yourself the most time you can possibly have. Oh, but this last one is nuts. This one is just so hard to time. You gotta time it so, like, you end up right here as it's going over you, and yes! I can't believe I got it. I usually die miserably and many times on this one. <gasps> Corkscrew! Oh! Oh! This one's so much fun, but it's also very luck based. Okay, what you want to do first is just jam forward, and then as you're falling down, hold back. Like, uh, okay, push forward here, and as you're falling, hold back, and then you'll flop right between those opening areas. Now push forward and pull back. Now pull back here, and there's the goal. That's what I mean about it being completely blind. It's uh, entirely, it's 100% feel, and, and that pretty much sucks, actually, to, uh, trying to figure out how to do that stage your first time. But once you get past that first section, you pretty much have the stage beat every single time. Alright, this one is called Orbiters. The object of this one is to time it so you get on one of these things like this. And you gotta get in between them as they're uh, flippy flopping. Like you gotta get between their timing windows. Kinda like a rhythm game, so to speak. Uh, Twin Basin. Um, this one is designed to make you run out of time. But it doesn't do a very good job of it. <laughs> You'll see what I mean in just a sec here. Jump off to here, and push forward as hard as you can, and, whoop, oh, I just made a mistake there, that's okay. Get some rhythm, get some rhythm, get some rhythm, and flop up here. And that's how it's done. Get some rhythm, get some rhythm, flop up here. Oh, a little too fast. That's okay. So that's what I mean, it doesn't do a good job of it. You either fly off, or you, uh... Oh, well, okay. Or you get to the goal. <laughs> That's basically it. As you see in the first pass, you don't get anything, so go around again. And yeah! No problem. First one. Second one. Yeah! Oh, a little too short. That's okay. Go again! Woo! <laughs> Why am I singing? There's no need for the singing. Yeah! No! I can't get up the last one for some reason. My timing is all poopy. Alright, let's go again. That's all we can do is just go again until we beat the stage. Get some rhythm, get some rhythm. Go, monkey, go. Flip around that ball. Go, go, go. And up. And around. And do it! 
Oh, come on! That's just mean! I even got some uh, vertical height on that one, higher than usual, so I should have had some uh, fall power to control my... I mean, fall control to control my speed. Come on, come on, yeah! Okay, there we go. Now, I just thought it like it was nothing on that one. That's about as fast as you can do it. That was sad. That was just so sad. Air hockey. No! Uh, hey, the game just froze. Um... Be right back!